For the past seven years, Kendra McLean has visited Alberta Children's Hospital in Calgary twice a year, gulped back an extra sugary concoction, then had an intravenous line inserted for blood sampling over a couple of hours. Kendra's older sister, Laura, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was only six years old. Now Kendra and 150,000 other study participants from around the world, with close relatives who have type 1 diabetes, are helping lay the groundwork for further research aimed at preventing the development of the disease. The first time I came, I just went and they gave me a needle and then they found out that I tested positive for antibodies. And so I got put in this study where I sit and I just drink a sugar drink and they take blood every, and I think it's 15 minutes. And then they see how my blood responds to the sugar. When you have diabetes, what it means is that your body either cannot make insulin or you can make insulin but can't use it properly. And your body needs insulin because that's a hormone your body makes for you to be able to use sugar or glucose. Other uh, treatment is giving insulin. So right now the only way to give insulin effectively is through a small needle under the skin. Researchers in both Calgary and Edmonton are part of an international network of type 1 diabetes researchers called TrialNet. This is part of the study called TrialNet. So TrialNet is basically an international consortium of a lot of centers, both in the U.S. and in Canada. And what we have done is over the last 20 years, really, collect data from patients and all their relatives and then try to figure out, okay, which of these relatives has the risk of developing diabetes? Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system destroys the beta cells in the pancreas, which produce insulin. Beginning of diabetes, you still have some of those cells that you're able to make insulin. So the idea is that if we can stop your body from destroying the remaining cells, these kids with diabetes will be a lot easier to control. Laura appreciates her younger sister's commitment and contribution to diabetes research. It gives a lot of hope um, for future, future kids and adults and even for my future kids or who knows that there could be, I think it would be a huge breakthrough. And she's been very consistent with it and keeps, and I haven't heard her complain ever. I just want there to be a cure because I've seen what people with type 1 diabetes go through and if somehow sitting in a room and having a needle every six months can prevent that or help find a cure, that's all I really want. The goal of this research is to understand how type 1 diabetes develops. We know what causes it, but we don't know when it starts, how it start, and in the process of you get developing the disease, is there a point in there we can try to stop it? And if we can identify what the risks are and find out where in that disease process we can stop it, hopefully one day we can stop kids from getting diabetes.